didn't detain her. Here I'm talking about oh, some of the virtues of your health care system. They didn't find this humorous. And I said, well, this um, is about, and maybe I could uh, take the book, sure. because the title of the column, the last column in the book, uh, was, and I thought, well, I read it to them. Uh, it was about, I said, health care reform needs an action hero. Um, imagine the scene, America 2009, 18,000 people have died in one year, an average of almost 50 a day. Who's taking them out? Who's killing them? To investigate, President Obama might be tempted to call on Jack Bauer, the fictional rogue intelligence agent from the hit TV series 24, who invariably employs torture and a host of other illegal tactics to help the president fight terrorism. But terrorism isn't the culprit here. It's lack of adequate health care. So maybe the president's solution isn't Jack Bauer, but rather the actor who plays him. Right, the star of 24 is Kiefer Sutherland, whose family has a very deep connection to health care reform in Canada, I said to the border agents. Tommy Douglas is his grandfather. Tommy Douglas, the most famous Canadian, I think voted by CBC in 2004 as the greatest Canadian. Um, uh, Tommy Douglas was the premier of Saskatchewan. And as a kid, he almost lost his leg and um, it, the doctor saved him, and he felt that public health care was critical. And so um, he fought for public health care just in Saskatchewan. Who took him on, remarkably enough? The AMA, the American Medical Association, um, afraid the contagion would spread south. Um, that's public national health care. Now, they won in Saskatchewan, and it became so popular, it spread across Canada and became Canada's national health care system. And so this is what I'm telling the border guards, and they're sitting there, and they're saying yes, and they're writing what I'm saying down. And I said, so um, maybe um, I talked about how Kiefer Sutherland had gone to Alberta and talked about how you mustn't uh, privatize health care here in Canada. Um, if he would speak to his audience in the United States, maybe we would get public health care passed in the United States. And they looked at me. They said, what else are you talking about? So I said, well, um, I was going to talk about the economy, um, the terrible recession, depression we are suffering from. What else? So I thought, well, maybe this is what they're getting at. I said, I will be discussing the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. What else are you talking about? I said, well, that about does it. I mean, it's only an hour talk. Um, and they said, are you denying that you're going to be talking about the Vancouver Olympics? No, they said, are you denying that you're going to be talking about the Olympics?